Hey everyone, today I have Tails and another Tails. So I'm going to open up both of these figures, compare the two, talk about uh, their articulation, how they compare with each other. So yeah, let's get started. Let's open these up. Okay, first up I opened up uh, classic video game Tails. Or cartoon Tails, whatever. Huh. Oh, that's cool. I like how his Tails are... Uh, positioned like that. That is neat. Kind of like, uh, yeah, you can spin him around like he's flying around. Let's see. No elbow movement. Uh, I know his shoulders must move somehow. Okay, there. I fiddled around with his joints a little bit, and, uh, his joints are extremely stiff. His shoulders are very hard to move. His knees are hard to move. Uh, let's see, he has, like, ball joints or something for his ankles, though. That's nice, so his feet can pretty much go wherever you want them. Uh, I still really like the tails. Those are really cool. Anyway, the sculpt is really nice. Really cute little face on tails. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh, and I love the hair. Look at that little hair floof there. The sculpt is really nice on him. It's just... Eh. Wish we could get some kind of reinforcement on the legs... I know they're kind of in a weird position because, like, Sonic characters usually have very skinny limbs, but I feel like there's some kind of, like, happy medium they could reach when it comes to their legs and arms. Alright, anyway, bonus, he comes with this dumb little checkpoint thing. Yay! <clears throat> like, really? They couldn't come up with something better for Tails? Like, maybe they could give him his, like, little goggles that he has in Sonic Boom? Or, like, give him a wrench? Or... Something, like, this really, this just feels like what they would give them when they run out of ideas of what to give characters. Alright, let's open up Movie Tales. He is really tight in this plastic. So tight, one of his arms popped right out. Fortunately, though, it looks like, um, yeah, I can just pop it right back in. Okay, I got his arm in, but then his tails fell off. I think maybe they're supposed to be removable. Yeah, Movie Tails is an extremely, uh, hmm, loose figure with joints that feel like they're gonna fall apart, unfortunately. The sculpt is really nice, though. They have that, like, little furry texture on him that gives him that fluffy look he had in the movie. I think his forehead's a little too big. On the back of the box, I noticed, holy crap, look at his forehead. You could have, like, a whole other face there. So anyway, sculpt is nice. Joints are, uh, yeah, like I said, very loose. Or, well, I mean, eh. Like, where they attach is loose. Like, his arms, it feels like they're gonna fall off. His head feels like it's gonna fall off. His tails, like, very easily fall off. Eh, but, the, like, the legs and... Uh, now, why isn't his head turning? Eh. Yeah, his knees and elbows, though, kind of... Oh, wait, no, his knees are moving okay. His knees are moving okay. I like this tails better. <laughs> like, he doesn't have elbow articulation, but I really like the design of his tails. They're, like, uh position to look like he's flying. It'd be better if you could, like, kind of move his head up to make it look like he... Oh, maybe... Eh. This tail's... Maybe that's why his head is... His head fell off. Movie tails stinks. He falls apart so easily. Like, and he goes back together easily, too, but, I mean... Yeah, if you give this to a little kid, expect little teeny tiny pieces to just be everywhere. And pieces of tails are definitely going to go missing. Okay, let's pop his uh, little gun or whatever out of there. Okay, I got the gun out of the thing. I tried putting it in his hand, but it doesn't quite fit. It's kind of weird shaped. So I'm going to try and fit it in his other hand here. His arm fell off, um, but yeah, it doesn't really fit a whole lot better in this hand. It's like one of those weird little bootleg toys that, like, it was made for a different toy entirely, so it doesn't fit in the normal hands of the figure. 
I guess, I don't know, maybe it's not supposed to fit in his hands. Maybe it's just supposed to float up and by his head. What is this, anyway? I don't remember Tails having a gun in the movie. Oh, well, anyway, uh, movie Tails kind of stinks. I do like that the, uh, like, I'm sure maybe if I were to watch the movie again, maybe I'd see whatever this was. It's better than the checkpoint thing. Also, like, at the very least, it's smaller, so it saves on plastic. Like, seriously, what, what was the point of this? This is worthless. Although, I guess, I don't know, maybe if you're, like, building a set or something, then it's nice to have multiples of these checkpoints, but for me... Like, yeah, a lot of these Sonic toys are going in a box. I don't have a place to put them at the moment. At some point, maybe I'll get them out, do a video with them or something, but or, like, take some uh, creative pictures, but, yeah. So, anyway, this Tails, nice sculpt, uh, decent articulation. I do wish his elbows had movement, but it's not too bad. He looks pretty nice. Movie Tails, though, like, it looks nice. Kind of big forehead, though. Tails are okay. I imagine the tails might weigh him back, so it'd make him hard to stand up, like he's going to fall backwards. And then his arm's going to fall off, his head's going to fall off. And also, the box, he was just, like, way, way too tight in the box. I don't know what they were thinking there. Like, these do not need to be so protect. And, like, what's with the gigantic boxes still? Like... I, I do not understand why tiny Sonic characters need such a gigantic box like that. It's ridiculous. So anyway, yeah. Tails. Uh, get the classic Tails. Don't really... Maybe, like, if you're a collector or something who's going to keep them in the box anyway, then get movie Tails. Or also, like, make sure you have a lot of space because these boxes are freaking enormous. Look at this. Both these guys can easily fit in there with their accessories and still have room for, you could fit, like, a couple more tails in there. So yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.